Hey everyone, how's it going? Rich Lee here, and today it's time for another episode of my Newcastle United career mode series, where today we're coming up against Chelsea in the first game. After the last episode, we were sitting 11th in the league, so that's not too bad. It's a decent platform to build upon, and I still feel that we can qualify for Europe at the end of the season. Obviously, this game against Chelsea should be a pretty tough one, though. They've got arguably the strongest team in the division. They're a very good team. And they will definitely cause us problems. But at the start of the game, they nearly gift us a goal there. But we couldn't quite take it. And into the second half, they are passing the ball around absolutely beautifully here. Look at the way that they're moving it around. It's so fluid. And this should have resulted in a goal at the end of it. But we pulled off a good save there. And basically, that was the only time they attacked us all game. It's a nil-nil draw. So then, that first game against Chelsea was pretty terrible. We're coming up against Manchester City now, though, and they've replaced Aguero with Muller. So not a bad bit of business there. I personally would have kept Aguero, but in FIFA career mode, they pretty much always sell him. So the fact they've replaced him with Muller isn't too bad at all. We've got a pretty strong start in 11 as well. Remy doesn't start today, though. He's on the bench, lacking match fitness. So Perez gets a start here. We win the ball off them there, and we've got a chance to attack them here. Tiote is on the ball. He plays that out wide for Aarons. What's he going to do? He plays that up top for Perez, and Perez has got a chance to score here. Can he take it? He goes around the City defence. He's only got to finesse it now, but it gets blocked off. And we don't score. We've got another chance here now though. Aarons is running through. Gets taken down in the box. We pick up a penalty. Wijnaldum steps up. Converts it. And we've got a 1-0 lead here. Scoring against Manchester City just seemed to make them angry though. And they really attacked us here. They get the ball to Bonnie. And that's in the back of there. It's the equaliser. A very powerful strike there from Bonnie. Keeper had absolutely no chance there. And unfortunately, Man City are right back in the game. We've got another chance here, though. Perez is running forward. He sees Aarons making the run. Can we get another goal here with Rolando Aarons? Yes, we can. Aarons has smashed that into the back of the net with his left foot. And we've picked up a lead again. So I'm absolutely delighted with that. Quality finish from him. He was responsible for the first goal, going down in the box to win the penalty. This time, he scored the goal. And he's given us the lead again. But... Once again, we just seem to make Manchester City angry. They're attacking us, and are they going to score another goal? Hopefully not, because I would quite like to win this game. That would be incredible if we could beat Manchester City. But I just can't win the ball off them here. They were just too strong, holding the ball, passing it around, and I wasn't really getting anywhere near them. It was just too difficult. Muller's on the ball, he plays that back to Sanya. And for some reason, they went right up the pitch and then went back again, but... That's just the way that the AI plays in this game. It's a bit strange at times, but it does seem to work out more often than not. Sterling plays the ball into the box to Muller, and he absolutely rattles that into the back of the net. It's 2 all now. Thomas Muller is such a cracking striker, and he's really proven his worth here with that quality goal into the corner. And as we head into the second half, Manchester City are desperate to pick up a winner, and they do score there. I believe it was Vincent Company that scored the header, and he makes it 3-2 to Manchester City. Can we get back into this though? Can we at least pick up a point? That one goes wide and unfortunately we lose the game 3-2. Next up then we're coming up against Norwich and despite being defeated in that last game, I was feeling very positive going into this game. There are a lot of things that we did well against Manchester City. Ultimately they were just too strong for us but against Norwich I feel that we can pick up a win. They're nowhere near the quality of Manchester City. If you look at their starting eleven, I feel we can beat them. And therefore, going into this game, I felt that we were going to pick up a massive victory. Here you can see we're taking a free kick with Wijnaldum, but that one goes wide. And now we've got another chance here. Tiote plays it through to Wijnaldum, but that one's saved by the keeper. And unfortunately, not a lot else happened in that game. It's another nil-nil draw. And for the final game of the episode, this is where things get incredibly serious. We've not picked up a single win all episode, but... Now we've got the time we are derby, and I need a massive win here. I need to beat Sunderland. I can't let them defeat us. In reality, Sunderland beat Newcastle 3-0. I can't let that happen here. We need to win this one, and we need to make it a comfortable victory if possible. I would absolutely love to smash Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. That would be beautiful. Sunderland start off with the kickoff, though. And they're attacking us here. Are they going to pick up an early goal? That would be disastrous if it happens. They're running it down the wing with Adam Johnson. What's he going to do here? He tries to run past Wijnaldum. Can't quite make it happen though. And now we've got a chance of a counter-attack. 
Teote's on the ball, plays it across to Bazoa. Bazoa looks up, plays it to Yamat, who plays it down the wing to Tovan. And now we've got an awesome chance here. Tovan is running at the Sundowner defence. What's he going to do? He goes around them. He's going to go for the shot here. It falls for Remy. He gets knocked down in the box. And we pick up a penalty there. He's about to tap it into an empty net. They take him down. And now he steps up to take the penalty. Can he score this one? Yes, he can. It's 1-0 to the mighty Newcastle United. They're attacking us now, though. We try and get the ball away. It falls to them. Are they going to score an equaliser here? They're getting around us. They play it into the box. Let's not let this happen, lads. Good save, Tim Krull. Sunderland remain determined here, though. They're running forward with Jack Rodwell. For some reason, he decides to retreat. And then they start playing the ball back. So I was quite happy with that. If they're just going to play the ball backwards, that's fine by me. But they go forwards again now, and I can't get the right player onto him, and he scores that one. The player switching just wasn't working out for me. It didn't switch to the right player, and they make it one all Into the second half now, though, we've got Teote on the ball. He plays that forward to Aarons. He turns back with it, gets tackled by the Sunderland player. Bazoa is trying to win the ball off them here. What are they going to do? They play it back to the keeper, and that's an own goal. What is Pantillamon doing? He just gets stuck on the post there and starts running at his own goal. That was a massive screw-up. What can you really say about that one? Pantillamon should have had that covered. He clearly forgot where the post was, though, and <laughs> he just starts running into it. What is he playing at? I'm not too sure. It's quite funny to watch, though, as he just sticks his head through the net and starts running at the post as the ball goes into the back of the net. So it wasn't exactly the most attractive winning goal in the world, but it does pick us up a 2-1 win in the Tyne Weir derby. So then, that's how things are looking now in the Premier League. We've moved up from 11th to 10th. Bournemouth are still top. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.